To get started, create a new React application by using npx create React app. Next, we'll change into the new directory and install AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify UI React. Next, initialize a new Amplify project by running Amplify init. Here, we'll give the project a name, the environment a name, choose our default text editor, and then choose the defaults for the rest of the options. When prompted for an AWS profile, choose the profile that you'd like to use. Next, we'll add a new function by running amplify add function. For the function type, we'll choose lambda function. Next, we'll give the function a name, choose Node.js as the runtime, choose hello world as the function template, and choose no for the rest of the options. Next, we'll open the project in our text editor. The function code is located at amplify slash backend slash function slash resource function slash src. Here, we'll open package.json and index.js. In the package.json, we'll first set the sharp library as a dependency of the function. Next, we'll set a custom install script for the Sharp library, specifying the architecture as x64 and the platform as Linux. Next, we'll open index.js to write the function code. At the top of the file, we'll first import the Sharp library as well as the AWS SDK. We'll then create a new instance of S3. In the function, we'll first check if the event name of the object coming in is equal to object removed colon delete, and if so, we'll return from the function because we do not want to continue unless it is a new object being created. Next, we'll create a variable for both the bucket and the key using the event.records s3 object. In a try catch block, we'll first fetch the image from s3 and get the image metadata using the sharp library. Next, we'll check to see if the width of the image is greater than 1,000 pixels. If it is greater than 1,000 pixels wide, we'll resize the image and overwrite the existing image in the S3 bucket. Next, we'll add the S3 bucket by running amplify add storage. For the type of storage, we'll choose content. To add storage, we need to enable Amazon Cognito. So we'll choose yes when prompted to do so, choosing the default configuration. Next, we'll create a local name for the image service, but keep the globally unique bucket name. For the access type, we're only worried about guest users, but we'll go ahead and enable auth and guest users. For authenticated users, we'll give them full access, and for unauthenticated users, we'll give them create, update, and read access. When prompted to add a Lambda trigger for the bucket, we'll choose yes. Here we can choose an existing function and then just choose the function that we created earlier. To deploy everything, we can now run amplify push. To test this out, open your project in the Amplify console by running Amplify console. Here we can click on File Storage and then View in S3. To test the resize function, we'll go ahead and upload an image that is at least 1001 pixels wide or wider.
When the image is first uploaded, you'll notice that it is 53.7 kilobytes. If we wait for a moment and then refresh, you'll notice that the size has now been reduced to 13.4 kilobytes, meaning that the image has indeed been resized. To make sure that this is the case, we'll go ahead and download the 2000 pixel wide original image to see if it has been resized to 1000 pixels wide. To test this out in the React app, we'll go ahead and open the project in our text editor. Next, we'll open index.js to configure Amplify. To configure Amplify, we'll import Amplify from AWS Amplify, the configuration from the CLI-generated AWS-exports file, and then call amplify.configure passing in the config. In app.js, we'll import the Amplify S3 album UI component from the AWS Amplify UI React library. To render the S3 album and the picker, we can use the Amplify S3 album UI component, passing in the picker property and the path set to an empty string. To test this out, we can run npm start. While the app is loading, let's go ahead and delete the item that we already have in our S3 bucket. When we upload a file, we should now notice that after a couple of seconds, we refresh and see that the image has indeed been resized. 